Thank you. Yeah. So there's like, oh, hello, how are you? I'm doing good, how are you guys? Great, I'm great. What a nice guy. We are at the OG Cannabis Cafe, LA's very motherfucking first. What? What would you call this? Consumption lounge area? It is a consumption lounge, right? Mm -hmm. But it's not the first consumption lounge. It's the first like smoke and eat at the same place kind of consumption lounge, which is very nice. You got a little menu right here. Basically, I'm trying to start a new show on Pine Park, and I want it to be in an environment like this, and I want it to be a little dinner time without saying too much. One on one, it's gonna be a good time, kind of interview, chill, little vibe. But I think this is the perfect place to do it. They're interested in hosting, so I'm just checking out the venue. They decided to host me and my lovely. Here. So um, we're gonna get really motherfucking high and I got something special here some unreleased Maybe all right something that's not out yet You guys love the cold fires and they just dropped something very motherfucking special Actually, they're dropping it next Saturday from when I'm recording this so I'm pumped man. I'm pumped. I'm pumped to check out what they got here See a little food action open up a cart or something actually there's no time to waste You're gonna have to try this one this high fructose corn syrup what does that even mean, Kim? What does that even mean? The Mountain Man Melts collab. Shout out to my boys over there, Mountain Man Melts. Shout out Jace, but especially shout out to my people over at Cold Fire, baby. Look at the look at the presentation on a punk bitch. Come on, with the with the disposable. I have seen many people use this battery. I think it's the best battery for rosin personally. It's like the all glass kind of vibe. My homie Nefs in Michigan uses it. Like it's multi-state. Everyone uses it. But Cold Fire are the only motherfuckers I know that have the completely custom. They got the little insert in there that shades it a little blue. The cap is a little blue. It goes kind of crazy. I can't lie. It goes a little bit fucking crazy. They got um, the little sticker going. Juice bar. These are called juice bars by Cold Fire. Juice. I was trying to hide it, it's so crazy. I was used to smoking in restaurants and shit, but I could just I could just not even give a fuck, that's insane. How about I take another one over there? Corn syrup. It's an interesting flavor, I'll say. It's interesting. It's a, an acquired taste. We gotta get one sweeter, which is why I brought out the motherfucking garlic cocktail, baby. My probably favorite strain of the last six months, this GMO and mimosa. Only a few people do it right, but when you can do it right, it's insane. It's absolutely insane. More ridiculous packaging. Come on. Okay, yeah, thank you. Sure, I'll take one. <laughs> thank you, I appreciate it. Hey, I'm down to be cozy, man. I'm down to be cozy. What a nice little hospitality kind of vibe. All right, let's try out this garlic cocktail. I know they did it right. I haven't tried it yet, but I know they did it right. Oh my god. <laughs> a little bit more on the mimosa than the GMO, but that's just how I like it. Oh, you have to try this. Oh my god, you have to try it. Oh, you can definitely taste it. Dude, the mimosa. Oh my goodness. That's true. It tastes way more mimosa. Yeah. Way more mimosa than GMO, but I love it. I love it. Okay, cold fire. They're cooking. They're, dude, what the fuck? They're cooking at cold fire. Oh my god. Right. Right. That might be top five. Top five ever type shit. This is insane. Not just top five coal fire, bro. What? I'm almost amazed. Hang on. You gotta check me out at another angle over here. <laughs> Came out on a little platter. Very nice. Got the coat. Come on. Is he riding the bear? That's Putin. I got stickers of Putin riding a bear. It's very unpatriotic, but you know what? It's all right. It's all right, you know. Could definitely host a little podcast live, maybe somewhere over there with the red, maybe along this wall right here. I think this could be a dope set. Even like this little middle table right here type shit. Like, bro, would you guys watch a show here? Me interviewing someone, industry leader, not even just cannabis, bro. I'm trying to interview athletes that smoke weed. I'm trying to interview motherfucking <laughs> doctors that smoke weed. Some motherfucking... Whoever the fuck, some surgeons, some pilots, I'm trying to fucking, you know what I'm saying? Like, I've just seen a lot of bullshit lately, especially on Twitter, about like potheads and stoners, and it's like so, sounds like so 20, 30 years ago, but it gets thousands of likes and retweets. It's crazy. You can type like, stoners are lazy, and you'll get like 50,000 likes. It's the craziest shit ever, bro. Twitter is hating on weed heads and weed heads, 
I sound like a fucking hater right now. Twitter's hating on the stoner community very heavily, and it kind of bothers me, all right? I just want to break a stigma, and I think the show is going to be about breaking a motherfucking stigma. It's always tough finding the best one. I know. Uh, uh. Side one? No, there's like nothing on. I mean, you can get it, you can get it. It's up to you, it's up to you. I don't mean to, I don't mean to judge, and you're to not so big. Do the entry from. You're right, you're right. You're right. All right. Oh, there we go, I found it. There it is. Let's go. Oh, we got the tots. Look at these chicken and waffles, man. We're fucking, we're moving. We're moving. I'll take another rip of that. Crazy. All right, they might have been cooking with this one, guys. What the fuck, bro? This shit looks insane. Look at all in there. The fruity pebbles. Come on. Look at this little guy. <laughs> what an angle this is. Nice. Whole Sunday? Kind of a vibe. Actually, really a vibe. That shit was delicious. What am I talking about? I'm geeked right now. Um, it is nice. I don't know. I feel like I'm always recording, smoking in restaurants, and I'm, you know, always trying to keep it low key, blow the cloud under the table. It feels crazy to just be chilling here. Bad news, guys. It's our only bad review. No light. Oh, wait. Oh. I didn't even get this part, man. You got a little wall for the pigs, and then look at this little sesh area right here. Come on now. Does she come with the sesh area? Please, bro, please. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, you see the vibes, man. You see it. At another little ridiculous restaurant. Check the vibes in this place, bro. Crazy little vibrations. Oh, the camera's acting up. Look at that. Look at that shot. That's insane. We got the pens again. I can't describe to you how fucking exquisite these are. I'll smoke these anywhere. Gladly. Only one of them. Dude. Flavor is exquisite. I don't even know if you can hear me. Check the little venue. We got the statue, all the flowers, the fire, a sexy ass. What the fuck is. I don't know how they made the best cars even better. Oh, wait, I do. They made it motherfucking solventless and they made it just way smoother. They made it an all glass cartridge. Dude, these motherfuckers are killing it. I like you, Cold Fire. I like you a lot. It's a little birthday over there. It's a good vibe. Damn. Oh, shit. Oh. All right, it might be time to get out of here. Nah, <laughs> hot box in the fucking restaurant. Let me, let me hop out. It's not like that first one we went to. That shit was nice.